Welcome back to Hampshire, my beauties. Is your body ready for some mad science? My stupid penis trembles with untold readiness. Speaking of which, I have a plasma globe here. You have to have one of these, or it's not mad science, it's just regular science. But, um, uh, you know, it works with any part of your body, and if you touch your balls to this, it will supercharge your sperm. They'll be like incredible Hulk sperm. That's the kind of incredible science fact you only hear on Hampshire. It's the one weird trick that doctors don't want you to know about. Anyway, I thought I should make some progress with construction, considering how much money's been coming in. And I've been really nervous about this and hesitant to proceed, just because I don't want to fuck anything up. The biggest single reason for that is that this thing costs over $200, and I don't want to have to buy another one. Although, I noticed recently that there is a crack in the bottom. I don't know if that's a problem yet. I don't know if it goes all the way through. Since this is a positive pressure habitat, there's no pressure differential trying to crush this thing when it's underwater. So a crack is not necessarily a show-stopping problem, like it would be if this were a submersible, for example. My main concern is the stress of buoyancy. This thing is going to be straining, trying to go up uh, against these ballast spots which are holding it down, and it'll be attached with screws that will penetrate the plastic uh, around this area for the, the center one. So I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. If it is, um, following the in-water testing, 24 hours of in-water testing with no animal, if it shows any signs of worsening, I may have to just buy another container, which I don't think is necessarily a problem. I, I went looking, and I can't find the variation of this with a clear lid. That would save me a, a huge headache trying to put a window into this one. I don't know if they make that anymore. But... Um, 200 bucks is not the, the big barrier that it used to be when I was eking by on like one donation a month. I have pretty generous funding now, thanks to you guys. So we'll see how that goes. For today, our main concern is just to get the holes drilled in the ballast pods to figure out where they're going to be positioned on the bottom of the structure and then drill corresponding holes in the bottom of the main habitat shell. We'll hear the holes. Couldn't hold the drill and the phone at the same time. They're not perfectly spot on. I feel like they're pretty good though. I'm not sure. I might want to put an additional two here and here. I don't think that'll be necessary though. And really, you want as few habitat penetrations as you can possibly manage. Next up, the habitat. I'm going to put the holes that correspond to the lids of these ballast containers into the floor of the shell. All right, I got one through. I'm keeping it fastened just as a placeholder so this doesn't shift around too much while I'm drilling through the other holes. Hee <laughs> hee, that's two of them, look at that. Look at that, I'm almost done. These are just placeholder bolts that I was using for a different project. They're not the right diameter, so I'm gonna take these out. In fact, I don't have enough of them to do the third one, so I'm gonna have to. But uh, I noticed this one's at a slight angle because of these plastic ribs that run underneath it. I can uh, counterbalance that by putting some washers in between the habitat shell and the ballast container on these two screws on the edge here. That will give it a nice flat uh, bottom area and it'll mean that when I set it down, given how heavy these are, it won't sort of uh, stress or flex the floor of the habitat shell. Almost done. Incidentally, I've spaced them just far enough apart that I can still reach the latches. So as needed, I can still put in or remove the actual <coughs> lead ballast weights. That's important for repairability. See what I mean? As long as I remove the weights starting from this container and moving this way, once the weights are out of here, I can open this, and then I can open this one, take the weights out, and then do the same to this one. Uh, that allows me to put the weights in and take them out without having to remove the ballast pods from the container, which I won't be able to do once I use the cyanacrylate super glue. Um, but yeah, looking good. This is some solid progress. I wanted to discuss the possibility, before I wrap up this video, of posting articles, uh, informative articles, about the history of manned undersea labs 
which many people assume only exists in science fiction, but in fact there have been 70 uh, around the world to date constructed by governments, universities, uh, private diving clubs, corporations. Uh, I happen to have accumulated a wealth of knowledge in this extremely specific uh, niche in the course of the last eight years building these fucking hamster habitats, so I thought that might be some nice added value uh, to tide you over between videos. Sound off whether you are interested in seeing that kind of content or not in the comments. Yeah, drink that shit. Drink all that shit, you little bitch. Oh, uh, hi there. I didn't see you. I guess my roommate got jelly of my hamsters because she got rodent fever. Not, not literal rodent fever. She's not, like, gonna die of super AIDS that I know of. Or at least if she does, it won't be because of the rats. But she did buy rats. Now we have this giant rat cage, which I think was intended for ferrets because the bars are just exactly far enough apart that the baby rats can squeeze through them. So we've had to put this mesh on here. Um, I want to say that opens up possibilities, but it really doesn't because she is in love with that rat and would never let me put it underwater. It's got fucking heated floors. Uh, I put this cage, of course I put this cage together. Everything that gets assembled in this house is built by me. And the hamster rules above it all. It's like the penthouse at the top of the skyscraper where the fat cat hamsters that rule the rat economy live. <laughs> I can buy and sell you.